Vowels followed by the R sound. The quality of the vowel often changes when the R follows it. There is a slight U、uh、sound that is added after certain vowels, making it sound almost as if the word contains an extra syllable. For example, fire. Don't say fire. Say fire. Words for practice: adding an extra U、uh、sound before the R、er、sound. E plus R, ear. Fear. Near. Here. Clear. Ah plus R,、er. far. Star. Hard. Large. Owl plus er. Hour. Sour. Power. Flower. I plus er. Higher. Tired. Expire. Ireland. O. Plus er, four. Tour. More. Board. E plus er, hair. There. Care. Stairs. Sentences for practice. Take the stairs in case of fire. The employer is hiring and firing. I hear that it expired on the fourth. I can't afford to shop in that store. I am near the cashier by the stairs. How far is Ireland from here? Chapter Three: Consonants. Voiceless and voiced consonants. One way that we categorize consonants is by determining whether they're voiceless or voiced. It's important to know the difference between them because the length of the vowel that comes before is determined by whether the consonant that follows it is voiceless or voiced. You will learn more about this later in this chapter. Also, knowing whether a sound is voiceless or voiced will help you to correctly pronounce the ed endings and the s endings of words. You will learn this in detail in the next chapter. First, let's learn how to distinguish between a voiced and a voiceless consonant. Place your fingers in the front middle part of your neck. Now say z as in the word zoo. Now let's make it longer. Z. You should feel a vibration in your vocal cords. This is how you know that the z sound is voiced. Now let's try this with the s sound, as in the word sat. Say s. Now let's prolong it. S. This time there was no vibration in your vocal cords. That's all there is to it. The tongue and lip positions of the z and the s are identical. The only difference between them is vibration or no vibration. Vowel length and voiced and voiceless consonants. Vowels are longer when followed by a voiced consonant and shorter when followed by a voiceless consonant. Even short vowels like i, e, u, and u are prolonged when followed by a voiced consonant. For example, i 
followed by a voiced consonant, sounds like I, as in big. <coughs> Warning, common mistake. When you lengthen a vowel, make sure that you do not change the sound of the vowel. When you say hid, make sure that it doesn't sound like heed. Voiceless and voiced consonants, word pairs for practice. The first word of the pair ends with the voiceless consonant and the second with the voiced one. Notice the difference in vowel length. S, z. Advice, advise. Ice, eyes. Niece, knees. T, d. Mate, maid. Hat, had. Bet, bed. F, v. Half. Have life, live belief, believe k, g, back, bag, dock, dog, duck. Doug. Sentence pairs for practice for voiceless and voiced consonants. You will hear two sentences. The first sentence has a word with a voiceless consonant, and the second sentence has a word with a voiced consonant. My wallet is in the back. My wallet is in the bag. I saw five bucks on the floor. I saw five bugs on the floor. He has blue ice. He has blue eyes. I heard about the lice. I heard about the lies. Word pairs in sentences. He told me lies about the lice. His eyes are ice cold. There was a buzz on the bus. The dog is on the dock. Stops and continuance. There is another important way the consonants are categorized besides whether they're voiced or voiceless. Consonants can either be stops or continuants, depending on whether the airflow is stopped or if it's continued. For example, when we say the s sound, spelled with the letter s, we can prolong it by saying yes. The s sound is considered a continuant because the airflow can continue as long as we have air in our lungs. But if we say the word job, we cannot continue the final B sound. We stop the airflow by closing our lips. Therefore, B is a stop. If we quickly open our lips, we can then release the stop and say job. Holding final stops. Americans generally do not release many of the final stops. For example, when they say the letter P in the word stop, the lips stay closed. No air comes out. This creates almost a silent version of the sound P, or a half P. We know the P is there, but we don't hear all of it. If the lips were released, there would be a slight puff of air. Let's try another stop, the sound G. Don't say big, say big.
hold a final G sound by making sure that your tongue remains up in the back of the mouth when you're done saying the word. Words for practice. Final P. Stop. Cup. Up. Shop. Final B. Club. Job. Sub. Tub. Final D. Married. Played. Sad. Dad. Final T. That. Sat. It. Cut. Final stop followed by another consonant. The final stop is held when the next word within the same sentence is another consonant. However, when the final stop is at the end of the sentence, this rule is much more flexible. Sometimes the sound is released as in, the house is big, or it's held as in, the house is big. However, you wouldn't say, this is a big house. Instead, you would hold the G sound of the word big, and you would say, this is a big house. Word groups for practice. Make sure that you hold the final consonant of the first word of the pair. Help him. Keep talking. Did that. Could go. Stop that. Job market. Big park. Cupcake. You will learn more rules about pronouncing final consonants in Chapter 8, titled, Sound Like a True Native Speaker. Chapter 4, Problematic Consonants. This chapter will help you to fix the most common consonant errors that non-native speakers of English make. The pronunciation of some of these sounds is exclusive to American English, and other times, the pronunciation is difficult for non-native speakers because the sound does not exist in their native language. The various T sounds of American English. We'll start with one of the most distinctly American consonants, the letter T. The T can be pronounced in several different ways, depending on its position in a word and depending on the other sounds that surround it. Sometimes the T sounds more like a D as in water and atom, and sometimes it's not pronounced at all, as in often and interview. Other times it's barely pronounced, as in but and cat. Also, it can change to a different sound when it's followed by an R, as in try or truth. The held T. As a simple awareness exercise, Let's first practice saying the T sound so that you get a feeling of where in the mouth it occurs. Repeat saying the T, 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 t. You will notice that the tip of your tongue is touching and releasing your gum ridge, which is the upper part of your mouth right behind your front teeth. T, t, t. This is what we call the fully pronounced T. The tongue touches and releases. Now, say the following two words, which end with the T. Cat. Right. Say them again. This time, do not release the T. Just let your tongue stay on top, touching the gum ridge with no air coming out when you're saying the T. Cat. Right. This sound is called the held T. The other way to make this kind of silent T is just to press the vocal cords together and stop the airflow and then release. Cat. Right. The T is generally held at the end of words and before consonants within words. This held T is very common in American English. Using it will help you to sound more like a native speaker since non-native speakers almost always tend to release the T when speaking English. Listen to the following sentences repeated twice and notice how the first time the T's are released 
and the second time the teas are held. It's not that hot tonight. It's not that hot tonight. The T in the second sentence is almost silent. All you hear is interruption of the previous sound. This just gives you an idea that the T is there. Note, you will sometimes hear Americans release the final T. If they do, it's usually at the end of a phrase or a sentence or for special emphasis of a word. For example, that's great. It's so hot. There is no absolute rule about always holding the T. But keep in mind that if you release the T at the end of every word, it will sound like a foreign accent. Practice with the final T. First, just listen to the words pronounced two different ways, with the T released and the T held. Then repeat, just saying the word with the held T. Cut. Cut. Robert. Robert. State. State. Out. Out. Present. Present. Budget. Budget. List. List. Absent. Absent. Met. Met. Word contrasts for the final held T. Listen to the differences between the following pairs of words. They sound almost the same, except the second word ends with a T. Notice how in the second word, the final held T interrupts and shortens the previous consonant. Can, can't. Fall, fault. Star, start. Men, meant. Fell, felt. Car, cart. Did you say can or can't? The silent T is one of the reasons why you may have a hard time hearing the difference between the words can and can't. Instead of saying, I can't do it, Americans hold the T and say, I can't do it. Held T plus a consonant. Always hold the final T when the next word begins with a consonant. Instead of saying at work, say at work. Word pairs for practice. It was. Might do. Can't go. At work. Didn't like. Won't need. Eight weeks. Budget cut. Always hold the T when the next letter within the same word is a consonant. Football. Outside. Lately. Nightmare. Atmosphere. Atlas. Atlanta. Butler. Sentences for practice for the held T. I might not do that. It's not that great. He built that website last night. It felt quite hot in Vermont. What? That can't be right. Matt went out for a bite to eat. That apartment felt quite hot. If you eat out every night, you'll get fat. Study tip. Make a list of the most common words that are used in your workplace, or if you're a student, the terminology in your field of study. Find out the correct pronunciation of these words. Also, master the pronunciation of the name of the company that you work for and the names of your American co-workers. This will greatly add to your confidence level when you're speaking in a professional situation.
held T before an N sound. When the T is followed by an N or N sound within a word, make sure that you hold the T. For example, we don't say button or button, we say button. Hold the T as in but and then add an N without releasing the tongue from the gum ridge. Button. Similarly, don't say written or written, say written. Don't say kitten or kitten, say kitten. Words for practice. Certain. Gotten. Mountain. Lighten. Cotton. Britain. Eaten. Written. Forgotten. Frighten. Sentences for practice. T plus N sound. I will shorten the curtain. He has eaten the rotten food. I'm certain that it was written in Britain. I've already forgotten the sentence. That cotton blouse has buttons. Martin Luther King and Bill Clinton are famous Americans. T after N. The T after an N or an N sound is often silent. Instead of saying Internet, you will frequently hear Americans say Internet. This is fairly standard speech, and it's not considered overly casual or sloppy speech. Words for practice. Interview. 20. Disappointing. Accountable. Dentist. Intellectual. Quantity. Advantages. International. Center. Cantaloupe. Plenty. Santa Monica. Atlanta. Orange County. Sacramento. Dialogues for practice. There are many advantages to working for that international company. I'll be disappointed if they don't call me for an interview. I hear they're looking for someone with interpersonal skills and plenty of energy. It's only 20 minutes from Santa Monica. When T is between two vowels. The T sounds like a fast D sound when it's between two vowels. When a T is between two vowels, it's generally pronounced like a fast D sound. We don't say better, we say better. It also sounds the same as the rolling R sound that sounds like R of many languages, where the tip of the tongue touches the upper gum ridge. This sound is also sometimes called a tapped T because you quickly tap the tip of the tongue on the gum ridge. Listen to the following three pairs of sentences. The first sentence of each pair is pronounced with a foreign accent or a British accent. The second sentence is an American sound. It's better and better. It's better and better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I ate a lot of meat. I ate a lot of meat. The T becomes a fast D in the following cases. Between two vowels. We don't say better. We say better. Before an L. We don't say little. 
we say little. After an R and a vowel, we don't say party, we say party. We don't say forty, we say forty. Note, the T does not change to a fast D sound if the T is within a stressed syllable. We don't say attack, we say attack. Words for practice. City. Duty. Better. Ability. Total. Matter. Meeting. Quality. When T is between two words. This fast D also occurs between two separate words when the first word ends with a vowel and a T and the next word begins with a vowel. For example, not at all sounds like not at all. Again, this is not sloppy or casual speech. It is a standard American accent. Word groups. It is. Get up. Try it on. Eat out. At 11. Wait a minute. What if? Put it off. Sentences for practice. I lead it a little later. I bought an auto battery for $40. Peter wrote a better letter. I'd better go to the meeting at 11. He met her at a computer store in Seattle. It's a pity that he's getting fatter and fatter. Tell the waiter to bring it a little later. He bought a lot of bottles of water. Betty's knitting a little sweater for her daughter. It'll be better if you heat it before you eat it. The fast D, D between two vowels. In addition to the standard D sound, as in words like dog, day, and bed, there is another kind of D sound that occurs between two vowels and also before an L. It sounds exactly like the T between two vowels. Instead of saying ready, we say ready. It's the sound made with the tip of the tongue quickly tapping the gum bridge. Word pairs for practice. The following word pairs sound the same even though the first word is spelled with the T and the second word is spelled with the D. Since they're both between two vowels, the sounds are identical. Metal. He won a gold medal in the Olympics. Metal. My car is made out of metal. Adam. His first name is Adam. Adam. An atom is the smallest unit of an element. Hit it. My hand hurts because I hit it hard. Hit it. You can't find it because I hit it. Leader. The president is the leader of the country. Leader. How much is a liter of gasoline? Feudal. There was a feudal system in the Middle Ages. Feudal meaning useless. My effort was totally futile. Individual words for fast D between two vowels. 
Listen to the fast d sounds in the following words. Already. Addict. Canada. Editor. Ladder. Product. Middle. Shadow. Word pairs. Add on. Made it. Hit it. Fed up. Sentences for practice. I already added it. Adam will edit the middle part. Those products are made in Canada. She had on a Prada dress. I'm fed up with that crowded elevator. Note, remember if the D is within a stressed syllable, this rule does not apply. First, you will hear a word with a normal D and then one with a fast D. Adopt. Attic. Adore. Audit. T plus R sounds like an almost ch sound. When the T is followed by an R sound, the T changes and becomes an almost ch sound. Instead of saying trouble, we say trouble. Instead of saying true, we say true. To create this sound correctly, say ch as in chain, but just make the tip of the tongue a bit more tense when it touches the gum ridge and focus on creating a stop of air. Ch, ch, ch. Words for practice for T plus R. Travel. Turkey. Tradition. Introduce. Translate. Interest. Traffic. Extremely. Turn. Terrific. D plus R sounds almost like JR sound. When the D is followed by an R, the D changes and becomes an almost J. Instead of saying drive, we say drive. Instead of dress, we say dress. Words for practice for D plus R. Drink. Children. Drop. Address. Dream. Cathedral. Drama. Hundred. Syndrome. Laundry. Dialogues for practice for T plus R and D plus R. Why do you travel by train? Because the traffic is so dreadful. What did Sandra tell the attorney? She told him the truth about the drugs. Have you traveled to Turkey? Yes, that country has some interesting traditions. I told him a hundred times not to drink and drive. I'm sure he'll try to stay out of trouble. To tell you the truth, I'm drained from all this drama. D plus U is usually pronounced as J, as in the word joke. Words for practice. Gradual. 
schedule, graduation, education, procedure, individual. D plus Y is usually pronounced as J, as in joke. Did you? Would you? Could you? Should you? T plus U is usually pronounced as CH, as in church. Actually. Situation. Ritual. Adventure. Virtual. Fortunate. Statue. Nature. Punctual. Picture. Final T plus Y is usually pronounced as CH, as in church. Don't you? Won't you? Can't you? Aren't you? Sentences for practice. Did you go to his graduation? Would you take our picture? Why can't you be punctual? Don't you like nature? Actually, this is a fortunate situation. You're adventurous, aren't you? Why won't you do it gradually? Can't you change your schedule? ED Endings the final ED forms the past tense of regular verbs such as needed and worked, and some adjectives such as interested and tired. The ED can cause problems for non-native speakers because it can be pronounced in three different ways, as id, d, or t. Here are the three rules you need to know. Rule number one. If the last letter of the word is spelled with a D or a T, the ED is pronounced as a separate syllable, id. Words for practice. Needed. Avoided. Admitted. Separated. Attended. Visited. Decided. Waited. Rule number two. If the last letter of the word ends in a voiced consonant or a vowel sound, the E is silent and the D is pronounced as D. Words for practice. Opened. Called. Changed. Closed. Earned. Loved. Pulled. Showed. Rule number three. If the last letter of the word ends in a voiceless consonant, the E is silent and the D is pronounced as T. Words for practice. Passed. Washed. Helped. Watched. Laughed. Worked. Stopped. Liked. Linking ED endings plus a vowel. Linking is connecting the final sound of one word to the first sound of the following word. You will need to learn to link words together to create smooth, natural speech. This is discussed in much greater detail in Chapter 8, Sound Like a True Native Speaker. It's especially important for you to learn to link words with ED endings. 
The final t and d sounds are much easier to pronounce if they're connected to the vowel that follows it. For example, stayed in sounds like stayed in. Turned on sounds like turned on. Developed a sounds like developed a. Needed a sounds like needed a. Words for practice. Worried about. Looked at. Talked about. Interested in. Worked on. Liked it. More linking practice. ED verbs plus the word it. You will first hear a verb in the present tense, then you will hear it in the past tense ED form linked with the word it. Need. I needed it. Paint. I painted it. Attend. I attended it. Admit. I admitted it. Cook. I cooked it. Like. I liked it. Watch. I watched it. Stop. I stopped it. Use. I used it. Clean. I cleaned it. Change. I changed it. Love. I loved it. Conversations for practice for ED verbs. Listen to the following dialogues, which contain questions and answers, but only repeat the answers because those contain the ED verb and the word it. Make sure that you link these two words. What did you think of the movie? I liked it a lot. What did you do with the money? I deposited it in the bank. How did you cook the chicken? I fried it in oil. Is the heater on? No, I turned it off. When did you paint the room? I painted it last week. Dialogues for practice, job interview. Listen to the ED endings of the past tense verbs and try to determine which of the three possible sounds you hear, d, t, or id. In the first part of the job interview, each of the ED verbs is followed by a word that starts with a vowel. Make sure that you're linking these two words. Tell me about some of your experiences as a university student. I studied accounting and finance. I graduated at the top of my class. I maintained a 4.0 GPA. I played on my college basketball team and participated in many extracurricular activities. I volunteered at the homeless shelter. I partied every weekend. I dated a lot of pretty girls. I loved every minute of it. Describe some of your personal qualities that would make you qualified for this position. I'm detail-oriented, highly motivated, and organized. I'm also focused and determined, and I work well in a fast-paced environment. I have an advanced knowledge of computers. 
I'm also college educated and well traveled. The TH. The TH is one of the most difficult consonant sounds for non native speakers. Remember, for this sound, the tip of the tongue should touch the edges of your front teeth. The tip of the tongue vibrates a bit while air flows out through your tongue and your upper teeth. It's also okay to just touch the back of the front teeth as long as the air is flowing through. There are two TH sounds in English the voiced TH, as in that and the voiceless th as in think words for practice for the voiceless th anything author both earth ninth health Nothing. Thank. Thing. Thursday. Wealthy. With. Word pairs for the voiceless th. With nothing. Ninth birthday. Both methods. Third month. Warning. Common mistake. Voiceless TH versus T. Some non native speakers incorrectly pronounce the voiceless TH as a T, and the following words end up sounding the same. Thank. Tank. Bath. Bat. To correct this problem, change the position of your tongue by moving it forward to touch the teeth. Also, make sure that there's an airflow between your tongue and your teeth. Words for practice for the voiced TH. Although. Breathe. Clothing. Father. Mother, rather, this, the, then, they, those, weather. Word pairs for the voice th. That clothing. This weather. Neither brother. Mother and father. Warning. Common mistake. Voiced TH versus D. Some non native speakers incorrectly pronounce the voiced TH as a D. The following words end up sounding the same. They, day. Breathe, breed. Again, to correct this problem, change the position of your tongue by moving it forward to touch the teeth. Also, make sure that there is a flow of air between your tongue and your teeth. Warning. Make sure that your tongue vibrates under your upper teeth. Don't bite your tongue and don't press it on your upper teeth too strongly. This will block the flow of air that is required to produce this sound correctly. The American R. Many languages have what is called a rolling R, where the tip of the tongue touches the gum ridge, similar to the D sound, but with a quick and repeated motion. It sounds like this R, bright, Russia, from, red. In contrast, the American R is produced in the back of the mouth, and the tip of the tongue never touches anywhere inside the mouth. There are several ways to produce the American R. Try both of them, 
and decide which one is easier for you to create. Method 1. Simply curl the tip of your tongue and pull it back a bit and keep the tongue tense. Method 2. Let the back of the tongue do all the work. Press the sides of your tongue up against the back teeth. In this case, you do not need to curl the tip of your tongue. It should sound like this. Er, red, march, here, for. Unlike the British R, the American R is always pronounced. It's never silent. Pay particular attention to the R at the end of the word, as in for, more, far, and teacher. R at the end of the word. Words for practice. More. Here. Her. For. Culture. Where. Sure. Car. Word groups for final R. All of the following words have an R at the end. Make sure you pronounce each one clearly. Four-door car. Her younger sister. They're never here. Sooner or later. Lobster for dinner. Your older brother. Four more over there. R before a consonant. The R before a consonant is also always pronounced in American English, but generally not pronounced in British English. Americans say morning, first, modern. In British English, these words are pronounced as morning, first, modern. Word pairs. Important information. First person. Hard to understand. Northern California. Early in the morning. Survive divorce. Learn German. Undergoing surgery. 30%. Modern furniture. March bargain. Perfect performance. Advice from a successful student. I have collected a list of words that are difficult for me to pronounce. I make up sentences from these words and I practice saying them over and over. The American L. For the L sound, the tip of the tongue touches the gum ridge behind the upper teeth, just the same as when creating the T and D sounds. The air stream flows through the sides of the tongue. When the L occurs at the end of the word, make sure that you don't release it quickly as you would with the T or D. This will make your L sound foreign. The American L is softer and longer than the L sound of many other languages. Don't say, I feel well. Say, I feel well. Notice how the L is prolonged by keeping the tongue up longer. Warning. Common mistake. Don't round your lips when you're saying the L. This will weaken it and make it sound more like a W. Don't say people. Say people. Words for practice. Although. Call. Children. Cold. Difficult. Felt.
Film. Little. Milk. Myself. People. Will. Word pairs for practice. Tall girl. Felt guilty. Old school. Tall wall. Cold milk. Gold medal. Little children. Twelve soldiers. L before a consonant. For Asian speakers, the L is particularly difficult to pronounce when it's followed by a consonant. If you don't correctly move your tongue, the words code and cold will sound the same. Practice the following word pairs, making sure that you clearly pronounce the L of the second word. The first word of the pair has no L sound. Word contrasts for practice. Code. Cold. Debt. Dealt. Toad. Told. Wide. Wild. Long vowels plus L. When a long vowel is followed by an L, put an extra a uh sound in between. Instead of saying feel, say feel. It's almost as if you're adding an extra syllable. Words for practice, e plus o. Feel. Steal. Deal. Real. Wheel. Heel. A plus O. Sail. Mail. Whale. Pale. Fail. Exhale. I plus O. Mile. While. Style. Smile. File. Trial. Oi plus ol. Oil. Toil. Spoil. Foil. Boil. Soil. U plus ol. Tool. School. Rule. Fool. Cool. Pool. Word pairs. Fail school. Cool style. Miles and miles. Real deal. Steal the tool. File the mail. L or R? Warning, common mistake. If your tongue is not touching the right place in the mouth, your L will sound like an R, and the word wall will sound like war. To correctly pronounce the L, make sure that the tip of the tongue is in the front, near the upper front teeth, when it touches the top of your mouth. If the tip of your tongue is pulled farther back in the mouth, it might sound like an R instead. Use a mirror to see the position of your tongue for the L. L and R in the final position. Pay attention to the position of your tongue as you practice these two final sounds. Prolong the sounds as you concentrate on what your tongue is doing. Sound contrasts. Feel. Fear. Deal. Dear. 
stole, store, mole, more, bowl, bore, tile, tire, while, wire, file, fire. R and L after a consonant. When the R or L sound is after a consonant, make sure that it's strong enough to be clearly heard. Fully pronounce the first consonant before you begin the R or the L. Otherwise, fright and flight will end up sounding like fight. You can even add a short a uh sound between the two consonants. Say fright three. Word contrasts for practice. You will hear three sets of words. The first one contains no R and no L. The second one contains an R, and the third one contains an L. Fame, frame, flame. Bead, breed, bleed. Gas, grass, glass. Fee, free, flee. Fight, fright, flight. Pay, pray, play. Advice from a successful student. My friend and I are both Chinese, and we are both studying accent reduction. We get together and speak only in English, and we try to correct each other's mistakes. We are able to point out a lot of mistakes to each other, even though we are not Americans. We have learned what our main weaknesses are, and now it's just a matter of reminding each other and practicing. In order to break those old habits, the V sound. To produce the V sound correctly, make sure that the lower lip touches the upper teeth. People who speak quickly have a tendency to drop this sound at the end of words. Others may confuse it with an F sound, and some others change it to a B or a W sound. Words for practice. Very. Verb. Vote. Eleven. Involve. Achieve. Have. Twelve. Five. Sentences for practice. Five of David's relatives live in Vienna. Steve and Vivian will come over at eleven. I believe he will move to Vermont in November. Whoever is involved will be investigated. Twelve of us drove to the river near Vegas. Avoid drinking vodka every day. They served flavorful veal and a variety of vegetables. I've been given a favorable evaluation. I would have invited you over, but I had a fever. They've never believed my viewpoint.
B and V sound contrasts. Non-native speakers of some languages have a hard time distinguishing between the B and the V. Remember, for the V sound, the upper teeth touch the lower lip. For the B, both lips touch and fully close so that no air escapes. Word contrasts. Vest, best. Very, berry. Vow, bow. Vet, bet. Curve, curb. Vote, boat. Word pairs in sentences. That's a very good berry. That's the best vest. Can you vote on a boat? Park next to the curb on the curve. I bet he's a vet. Sentences for practice. Beverly is very busy developing her new business. Vince loves basketball and baseball. Ben drove to Las Vegas in his black Volvo. I believe they've been to Virginia before. Did Vivian have a birthday in November? They've never been able to prove it, have they? Cucumber and broccoli are Ben's favorite vegetables. Gabriel was overwhelmed when he won the Nobel Prize for the novel.